Today we're going to be describing two circulations, the pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation. The pulmonary circulation is the circulation involved between the heart and the lung. This circulation is necessary to recycle the blood, to pick up the excess carbon dioxide from the blood and put oxygen back into it to make it oxygenated again. The systemic circulation is the circulation involved between the heart and the rest of your body organs and tissues. This circulation is necessary to distribute oxygen to all of your tissues and organs and to pick up their waste product, which is carbon dioxide, and get it recycled again through the pulmonary circulation. We are going to describe the flow of blood through these two circulations. We are going to start from blood that is returning from the systemic circulation. Let's choose a specific tissue, like the tissues of the brain. The point that we're starting at is where the brain has actually picked up the oxygen that it needs and it has given back its waste product, which is carbon dioxide. So the blood that is leaving the brain is filled with carbon dioxide. This blood is going to travel through the vena cava back to the right atrium. It will then flow through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle, through the semilunar valve to the pulmonary artery, which then goes into the lung. At the lung, gas exchange is going to happen via diffusion, where carbon dioxide is going to be moving from the blood back into the lungs, which you're going to breathe out, and your blood is going to pick up oxygen from the lungs so it can reoxygenate again. Now, the blood that is going to be leaving the lungs is going to be high in oxygen. This blood is now going to travel from the lung via the pulmonary vein to the left atrium, through the bicuspid valve to the left ventricle, through the semilunar valve to the aorta. From the aorta, it will then branch off into all the different arteries that will deliver the oxygenated blood to all the organs and tissues of your body. Once it arrives at the organs and tissues of your body, your tissues are going to pick up the oxygen that they need, give back the carbon dioxide, and this whole cycle will start all over again.